Alright, hope everyone's doing wonderful. Today what I got in stores, I got a Magic the Gathering, a two player game. This is a 2013 core set, a booster battle pack. I did one of these for another core set in the past, I think it was a 2014 or maybe 2012, but I think 2014 and today I got a 2013 core set. Looks like you got, uh, who's this on the front of it? Some sort of planeswalker, then you got a uh, Nickel Bolas hanging out in the background as well. He's all the raid right now. Experience the fun of the two-player pack war. Grab a friend, bust open a booster, and begin battling. Each booster battle pack contains two 20-card semi-randomized decks, two 15-card 2013 corset boosters, magic learn to play guide, and a rule insert. So these are like a pack. You buy one of these and uh, you grab a friend. You each get a booster pack. You each get one of the decks. And then you just kind of battle each other and have fun. Ages 13 plus. Uh, got the black kind of border going on right here. Got Wizard of the Coast, the recycling, the happy line going on. And uh, when did this come out? This came out 2012. Even though it's 2013, it always comes out the year before. And yeah, let's just open this up and see what it's about. Let's see if there's an easy way to open this. Hmm. Should be a pull tab or something, but there's not. There we go. Just down the middle. Very similar design to the other one as well. Looks like it comes with two little boxes. Separate here. You gotta separate them. I don't wanna break them. Again, like last time, it's kinda hard to. Exactly. I just broke them, <laughs> which is a little bit of a bummer because uh, in case this is your only like deck box or something like that, I kinda wish that it was a little bit sturdier. So there you go, you got a booster pack. Let's open these up and see. Comes with two of these small little deck boxes that can fit, I guess, like 30 cards or something. Liliana pack, and then some sort of elemental creature or something like that. These two little Magic the Gathering booster boxes, uh, just a little bit different. A little bit lighter, a little bit darker. And again, the, the symbol of Magic the Gathering. I'll set these to the side. A little bit of a bummer that it just like ripped right away. And uh, this should be the small little Booster Battle Pack. Experience the fun of two-player pack war. This Booster Battle Pack contains everything two players need to have a great time, and building your decks is a part of the fun. Grab a friend, bust open your booster, and begin the battle. Let's just see some information here. Pack Wars, uh, your fr Friday night destination. Got the same image as uh, the exterior of this pack right here. Who is this down here? I'm not really sure. I thought it was Jace, but he has like a battle axe. Each player gets a 20 card deck of sending randomized cards, include a basic, including basic land cards and 15 card booster pack. And wrap your decks to see what color cards there are. Decide which player gets which deck. Each player opens a booster pack and chooses up to 5 cards from it and adds them to his or her deck and shuffle and play. So you kind of decide who gets which pack. Then you open up a booster pack, you take 5 cards from each of the packs and put it in your deck and go on from there. Let's just open this up, this giant information pamphlet right here. Kind of good information for new players. It says like attacking, blocking. Kind of shows you uh, tapping and attacking. Shows you what happened in this situation. Uh, shows you what happened. Shows uh, you're blocking the bear right there. Kind of trading. Got card types, land, creatures, sorceries, instants, enchantments, artifacts, planeswalkers. There's a couple more now. Shows you an example of a card right now. We got Liliana Shade. We got the mana cost up here. You got the creature type right here, so this is a creature shade. Uh, abilities, these are the abilities, tells you what goes on right here. The power and toughness, a power on the left, toughness on the right, which is like attack and defense. It's a 1-1 one, one creature. Um, cards entering the battlefield, instant sorceries, cards that go to your graveyard. You got the setup. Each player uh, starts with 20 life. Um, you and your opponent shuffle your own decks. Don't mix them together. Uh, decide, yeah, don't mix you and your opponent's deck together. Decide who will go first. Uh... The player goes first, won't draw a card that turn. You and your opponent each uh, draw a hand of seven cards. Your first turn, each player, uh, each turn, you play a land card from your hand. Uh, lands can be tapped for one mana of the type the land can produce. Swamps taps for swamps or one black mana. If you have a spell that costs just one black mana, you can cast it now. Opponent's first turn, your opponent draws a card and plays a land and casts a spell from his or her hand. Uh, if she has enough lands, your second turn. Untap your tap card, draw a card, you can play another land card from your hand. If you have enough lands to cast a spell, um, cast it. And it just kind of tells you how to play. You got land spells, tapping, casting creature cost, untapping. And on the back of it, just kind of shows you a, a setup of a battlefield going on. Like your hand, your mana, the score over here, pen and paper, you got your life total. The first player to reduce the opponent's life total to zero is the winner. I guess Mythics uh, were around in 2013 or M13. 
Uh, I don't remember when the first Mythic came out. It was probably close around this area. And it shows you some of the Planeswalkers up here. There's so many more now. You got a Johnny, Chandra, Jace, Garak, and Liliana. Hopefully get a Liliana or something like that. Anyways, nice little information right here. Kind of shows some card types as well. Death Touch, Defender, Discard, Double Strike, Damage. Poison counter, protection, reach, regenerate, sacrifice, tap, target. Just really good information. A glossary probably for all the abilities in this set. I'll just set that in the background right now. So each of you, you'd open up one of these packs. You pick one. You just, whatever one you like better. The Avian Squire. Let's just see what abilities and what cards are in each of these. So this is one of them. And then this is the other one. I think these are really fun products, especially for just like a small little game to play with your friend. Especially like for newer players as well. Got an Avian Squire, one in a white. Creature Bird Soldier with Flying and Exalted. I love Exalted. It's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, this creature gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. So if this attacks alone, it's a 2-2. Two, two. That's awesome. So it looks like this is a white and a blue deck going on right here. Perfect. Guardians of a Cross. Two and a white. Creature Defender with Exalted, so it looks like an Exalted deck, how sweet is that? And the Exalted ability stacks, so you have two Exalted creatures out. Now, if one of them attacks alone, it gets uh, plus two, plus two. That's so cool. Got Divine Favor, one in a white. Enters a battlefield, gain three life. Gets plus one, plus three until end of turn. Got a War Clamp, Mask Mastiff. A dog with chains on his head. Got like a knife in the background. He's got First Strike, one white. For 1-1 one, one with first strike, that's a hound. Absolutely fun. Looks like I got a classic Sarah Angel. 3 and 2 white flying in vigilance. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Follow the light. In its absence, follow her. Beautiful, lovely art by Greg Staples. Looks like that is the white. Then you got some lands going on. Beautiful lands. Look at that. The sunset. Follow the path. And then this one, uh, got some birds flying in the sky. Nice yellows going on right there. So then you got five planes as well. Set the planes here. Then it looks like I also got some blues. Got a scroll thief. I'll set these aside in piles of uh, common and uncommon. Scroll thief, two and a blue. When it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. It's a one three. And when it deals damage, you draw a card. Awesome. Using his powers to steal all this information and run away. Let's go. I like this art a lot. This is by Alex Hurley uh, Olandelli. Got a, a Valken entrance. Um, Entrancer, three and a blue. Veldkin Wizards of 1 4. Blue and tap. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his graveyards. Don't get any ideas. So make them mill some of their cards by Scott, by Dan Scott. Got a downpour. Tap up to three target creatures. One and a blue. Instant. Instant speed. Tap them. This poor moose is caught. Or caribou or deer. Uh, actually, looks like some sort of deer is caught in this flash flood. Poor guy. Get out of there. By Ethan Zahn. Beautiful. Got unsummon. Great card. Just one blue instant return tiger creature to his owner's hand. Save your creature from lightning bolt or return an attacking creature your opponent controls to their owner's hand to stop the attack. Got Jace's Phantasm. This is a pretty good card as well. It's only one blue for a 1-1 flying. And it gets plus 4 plus 4 as long as the opponent has 10 more cards in his or her graveyard. These are very small decks so it's going to be very hard for this ability to be happening. But if this isn't a 60 card deck, especially one that you have like cards that are milling them, this pretty much can turn into a 5-5 five five flyer. That's just one blue relatively quickly. How amazing is that? This is a great card. And then it looks like I got five uh, islands as well. They alternate the art. This one just like a hidden cove. Bet there's pirate treasure in there. Beautiful art by Rob Alexander. And this one as well. Um, I like these sort of like donut shapes right there. Got some mist going on. The mountainscape in the background by Noah Bradley. Beautiful. And let's see what the opponent has. So that is a blue and a white deck. And this one is a white and a red deck. Got it. Attendant Knight, two and a white. With first strike, great. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one soldier creature token on the battlefield. It's a 2-2 two, two that comes in with another 1-1 one, one soldier and it has first strike. That's a really great card and the art represents that a lot. You got this woman coming on the battlefield and she brings her friend with her as well. Got a War Falcon. Can't attack unless you control a knight or soldier and this is a knight and it comes in with a soldier on the battlefield so you can probably attack with it. It's 2-1 with flying for one white but it needs a friend on the battlefield. Got it. Angel's Mercy, 2 and 2 white, gained 7 life, hanging out on the clifftop, pegging for some life, and she came. She rose above me, and then in that moment, uh, Verk, uh, Verky the Bloody died and I was born. Hm. Got Glorious Charge, 1 and a white, instant creatures you control, get plus 1, plus 1 till end of turn, give them some strength and toughness uh, until the end of turn, and inst instant speed, that's really great. By Izzy. Looks like I got Crusade of Ordic, 2 and a white. Creature Human Soldier. 
Its uh, power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. So if this is the only one on the battlefield, it's a 1-1. One, one. If you got 10 creatures on the battlefield, it's a 10-10. Though ten, ten. So you pretty much want your army of tokens or something to help along. By Michael Comark. Cool. Looks like a pirate. Then you got some planes going on. Five of them. Beautiful purple sunset in the background. Lovely lush greens as well. This one as well looks like a different season. A little bit drier, the grass. And you got the sun peeking through the clouds. Beautiful. I like how they give you two types of lands. I mean, uh, two arts of the lands, not just one. And then looks like I got some red cards as well. Looks like they give you just one uncommon of each color. Let me just make sure. Yeah, no rares in these. Just one uncommon of each color. The rares come from the pack. Got a blade tusk boar, three and a red. It's got intimidate. Can't be blocked except by uh, artifact creatures and creatures that share a color. So red or artifacts. Three, two. Cool. I got a trumpet blast. I know this card. Attacking creatures get plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Give it some strength for two and a red to all your attacking creatures. Oop, did I skip one? Nope. I got volcanic strength, one and a red. It's an enchant creature and aura. Gets plus two, plus two in mountain walk. So if your opponent has a mountain, obviously in this, uh, the deck you're facing, it well, they won't have a mountain. Um... It can't be blocked, but since they don't have a mountain in their deck over here, it's still blockable, but it gets some strength. Plus two, plus two. The mountain bends to no one. Got a Krenko's Command. I like this card. It's one in a red. It makes two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens. So cool. The art represents that perfectly. Two goblins coming out of the door onto the battlefield. Got an Arms Dealer. Oh, this is a great card. Two and a red. One and a red sacrifice a goblin. Arms Dealer does four damage to target a creature. So, if you got a goblin... You play Krenko's Command, then you pay one and a red, sacrifice a goblin, have it deal four damage to Sierra Angel, clear it off the board. Great card as well. Then it looks like I got five mountains as well. Beautiful mountains. Love the colors on there. It looks like you got a group holding up a torch, peering off into the distance. You got some beautiful large birds. Look how big they are compared to them. They're like dragons or something. And then this one as well. Got the winding staircase going across there. A little bit of branches sticking through. Beautiful red and yellow kind of the sun setting in the background. By Carl Kapinski. And this is by... Roboth Rubel. So I got myself a red and a white deck and a blue and a white deck. And now let's just open up the packs and see what they're about. Yep, let's open up this one first. Got Magic the Gathering 13 Plus 2013 Core Set, a 15 card booster pack. This comes out, came out in 2012. Premium cards, odds approximately 1 in 67 cards. Cool. So let's open this up and see what we get. Looks like. We got a card that we have in actually one of the decks. We got a downpour. We just had this one. I believe it was in this one. Let's just see. Downpour. So maybe you can put another one of these in your deck. Got a plummet. Great card. Destroy target creature with flying. It's green, but too bad there's no green mana in this deck. But otherwise, you could use it to destroy Sarah Angel. So I'll set these aside. Got a shadow of valor or show of valor. One in a white. Target creature gets plus two, plus four until end of turn. She's running with the baby through the fire, saving the day. Some big scars on her face by Anthony Plumbo. Cool. This is a white. Got a deadly recluse. One and a, a green. With reach and death touch. It's a one, two. So even if you block you block a flyer, regardless of how powerful it is, it gets killed because of death touch. Unless it has indestructibility. Or something like that. Or first strike. Because first strike, it deals the damage to this creature first. So it wouldn't actually be damaged by the recluse. Even dragons fear the silken strands. Cool. Looks like a wolf spider or something like that. Got Angel's Mercy again. Gain 7 life for 4 mana. Got an Essence Drain. Cool art. Looks very warped. This is drawn by Jim Nielsen. 4 and a black. Deals 3 damage to target creature or player. And gain 3 life. Life uh, Essence is a nectar. Is a nectar unlike any I tasted when I lived as a mortal. Cool art. Got a Goblin Arsonist. Great card as well. And this would be good for like a card like a Goblin uh, Arms Dealer. Because when this dies, it deals 1 damage. And then when you sacrifice a goblin, it deals 4 damage. So you can have it do 5 damage to a target, which is pretty sweet. Um, great card. So this will probably go... Well, actually, this pack is for this deck here. So they wouldn't get it drafted. Got a Battle Flight Eagle. 4 and a white. Creature bird flying. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and flying till end of turn. Oh, that's sweet. So when it enters the battlefield, a creature goes on top of it, and it gets some strength. By Kev Walker. Um, I'm just setting aside the colors that I can actually use in this deck right here. I got a Bond Beetle. Cool color. It looks like a, a Hercules Beetle. One green. Uh, when Bond Beetle enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. It's a 0-1. So when it enters the battlefield, it can become a 1-2. Or it can make another creature a little bit stronger by John Amon. 
Cool. A beetle on your shoulder. Got Divine Verdict. Destroy target, attacking or blocking creature. This is definitely going in the deck right there. Another Crusade of Ordic. Two and a white. Uh, power and toughness equals the number of creatures you control. Great card. Primal Clay. This is a fun one. It's a spell sh shifter. Star Star. Comes in with four. Drawn by Lucas. Uh, Graciano. And it comes in as whatever you want. You can have it come in as a 3-3 three, three artifact creature, a 2-2 two, two creature with flying, a 2-2 two, two artifact creature with flying, or 1-6 artifact creature with defender. How cool is that? So whatever your situation needs, you can make it just a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2 two, two with flying, or a 1-6 wall. How awesome is that? Fun card. Uh, this can be in there as well. Got a flint hoof boar, one in a green, creature boar. It gets plus one, plus one, as long as you control a mountain, which is pretty sweet. So it can become a 3-3 three, three for two mana if you have a green and a red. Uh, if you give it red, it gets haste until end of turn. How awesome is that? It's a 2-2 two, two that you can give it haste if you have it red. And it looks like the rare I got is a Void Stalker. One in a blue, creature elemental. Two in a blue, put Void Stalker and target creature on top of its owner's libraries. Those players shuffle their libraries. It's a 2-1. You put a creature and Void Stalker on top of your libraries, and then you shuffle it. Now you see it, now you don't. So just, uh, now you see it, now you're gone. Pretty much get rid of whatever card. That's awesome. By Marco. Um, Nelor. It's a 2-1 creature. Then I got myself a Sprawling Token. And then a Plains. So, it says take five cards. I'm going to say this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, I'm going to say these five cards. I'm going to put in my deck Shadow of Valor. Give a creature plus two plus four until end of turn. Can be used as a removal spell. Battleflight Eagle, a creature with flying. That's kind of expensive. Mm. Actually, I'm going to pick Downpour instead. Probably get more damage through. Nah, I'll keep it as uh, Battleflight Eagle. It's a 2-2 two -two with flying. When it enters the battlefield, uh, you give a creature flying and plus two plus two until end of turn. Divine Verdict, great card. Destroy target attacker and blocking creature. Good for removal. Primal Clay, good situationally. Make a flyer. Just a 3-3 three, three or 1-6 wall. And then Void Stalker, got a rare that you can get rid of a card that's annoying to you. A creature that's annoying to you. So that is the five cards I put in my deck. Now let's open up the other pack for the other deck right here. The red and white deck. Let's just see what we get inside of here. And go with it. Looks like I got a Harbor Serpent. Four and two blue with Island Walk. Can't attack unless there are five or more islands on the battlefield. It's a 5-5. Five, five. So you got to have a very blue heavy deck for this to work. Beautiful art. Crazy thing. Fighting this guy on the beach. Poor guy. There's one of them. Maybe they're on a ship by Darkin. Got a Kindled Fury. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains first strike till end of turn. Great for removal. It's an instant speed for one red. Busting out of his armor. Crazy scream by Wayne Reynolds. So this is a chance to be in my deck. Got Ranger's Path. Three in the green. Hanging out in the treetops with their long staff. Search your library for up to two forest cards, put them on the battlefield tap, and shuffle your library. Four mana, you get two land out of it. By Thomas uh, Jed Rusky. It's a sorcery. Spearing Spear. Poor guy's been speared, or searing spear. Speared by a searing spear. One in a red. Deals three damage to target creature or player. It is an instant speed. Great, great card, but you can't charge it. Uh, use it against planeswalkers. Just says creature or player. Great card, definitely going in the deck. Deadly Recluse again, one in a green. Reach and Death Touch is a 1 2 creature. And this one was drawn by Chris Ron. And this one was drawn by Warren Mahi. Got Hydro Surge, one blue. Target creature gets negative 5, negative 0 till end of turn. So just take away a bunch of its power. Blowing this big beast in the background by Steve Prescott. Got Fairy Invaders, four in a blue. With Flash and Flying, it's a 3 3. That's awesome. Fairy Rogue flying through the door, sneaking around. They got Flash and their daggers. By Ryan Pans Pancoast. So that's cool. Flash, you may cast a spell. Anytime you can cast an instant. Be great for this deck right here. But you can't. Got a Craterize. Three and a red. Destroy target land. I love cards that disrupt land. It's a sorcery. Can't play at instant speed. And it's just an explosion in the background. By uh, Ethan Zahn. Just get rid of whatever land. Probably going in the deck. Ravenous Rats. Love this card. Got creepy beady red eyes. Eating books in the background. Getting rid of information. Just eating the books. And that's what this card does. One in a black. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. It's a 1-1. One, one. Devouring books is the only the beginning. The Librarian's Next by Carl Quichelow. Great card. Looks like you got Essence Scatter. Counter-target creature spell. One in a blue. 
turning them into birds. I like this. As you can see the cookie cut outers of the bird shapes right there, completely disintegrating into the ether by John Foster. Counter a creature spell. Got Dusk Mantle Prowler, three and a black. Creature Vampire Rogue with haste and exalted. So two, two. Exalted is such a fun ability. I forgot that it was uh, in this set. Great card as well. It's got haste and exalted. That's sweet. And he's flying. Well, he's not flying. He's jumping on top of the building right there. Beautiful. Very shadowy picture. Love it. By Joanne Voss. So we got a Knight of Glory. A white card. One and a white. Creature Knight. Protection from black. And Exalted is a 2-1 creature. That's great. Protection from black. So a murder can't kill it. And uh, it's got Exalted. So whenever this creature attacks alone, gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Or whenever a creature attacks alone, gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. I will uphold the law. And no matter what, uh, in no manner, a foe will stop me. By Peter uh, Morabacher. It's a 2-1 creature. Definitely going in the deck. Got Revive, 1 and a green. Return target a green card from your graveyard to your hand. Sorcery, uh, for 2 mana, return a green card for a creature to your hand, from your graveyard to your hand. Obviously, you want to put it in a green deck. Matthew D. Wilson. Looks like the rare I got is Krenko Mob Boss. Wow, there's some goblin travel going on in here. Absolutely perfect. 2 and 2 red. Legendary creature, Goblin Warrior. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Tap. X, put 1-1 one, one red goblin troking creatures on the battlefield where X is the number of goblins you control. Obviously, this is going in the red deck right here. Going to be pumping out lots of goblins. Then we got myself a forest and a little nonsense card. All right, let's see. So it looks like I just got five cards right here. I really like this little red deck as well. There's quite a few little goblins going on. You got a goblin, some goblins. All righty. So right now, my favorite deck is probably this one as well. So you can put... Three goblins onto the battlefield. Actually, one, two, yeah, one, two, three, four. There could be four goblins on the battlefield. You tap this and you keep pumping out more goblins. This is great. This card could end the game for sure. Got a uh, human knight, craterized searing spear, kindled fury, volcanic strength, trumpet blast, blade tusk boar, crusade of ordic, a glorious charge, angel's mercy, war falcon, attendant knight, and then you got the mountains and the plains as well. And the other deck is a blue and a white one. You got Void Stalker, Primal Clay, Great Card, Divine Verdict, Battleflight Eagle, hmm. Show, Show Valor, Sarah Angel, Classic Beautiful Card, Flying and Vigilance, 4 4, Jason Phantasm, Great Card as well. Probably not in these decks because they're so small you can have to wait a while before they have 10 cards in their graveyard. Unsummon, Good Card, Downpour, uh, Cool, Tap Some Creatures, Velkin and, and Enchanter, Scroll Thief, Get Some Information, Draw Some Cards. War Clamp, Mass, uh, Divine Favor, Avian Squire, Exalted, Love Exalted, another Exalted, and then the Islands and the Plains. So honestly, then the point of this is you take these decks and then you just virtue each other. You just shuffle them up. Let's just give it a quick little shuffle. That's probably not the best shuffle as well, to be honest. And then I'll shuffle this one up. They are very small decks. I think, what are they, 30? cards or 25 cards i think they're just 25 cards very small the games will be very short because obviously you could run out of your library very quickly when you're drawing seven cards you draw like a third of your deck three four five six and seven so not the best because i only got one land and let's just draw from here one two three four five six and seven two land it's just all right. Definitely play the War Clamp Mastiff. I would probably redraw for this one as well. So anyways, you just fight these decks against each other. Play some quick little games. All the rules and information you could ever use is right here. Kind of tells you a bunch of the abilities. Equipment, target, exile, token, fight, death, touch. Just in case you have any questions. Just a great little set uh, for starter. For just to get a, you and a friend into the game. Or just a nice little gift for someone. Or like uh, someone that you know really likes the game. Get it and just play a game with them. Anyways, I always love Magic the Gathering. It's so much fun playing these games. And I think this is a wonderful set to get people into the game. And just to have some quick little fun. Like a little weekend. A little fun with a friend or something like that. Anyways. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed these type of videos. I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a wonderful, beautiful day today. And I'll catch you all on the next one.